Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and bought again, brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. Now, did Judas get saved here? Of course Judas didn't get saved. I don't think there's a person in the world that would tell you Judas got saved here, but he was sorry that he had betrayed Jesus and sold him for 30 pieces of silver and brought back the money. That's repentance right there. That's repentance. He was so sorry for what he did, he went and he hung himself. Boy, that man repented of betraying Jesus. But did he get saved? Absolutely not. But he repented. He repented for sure. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, you don't get saved by repenting of your sins. Man, he felt, I've, you know, I've felt bad for things I've done before, but never so bad I went and killed myself. That's how bad Judas felt. For the sins that he had done. Some people tell you, you know, you're not really saved if you're not sobbing and crying over your sin and broken. Well, good gravy. Judas was more broken than anybody I've ever seen. He went and broke his neck. Died and his bowels gushed out when he fell headlong. The Bible teaches. I mean, that's some repentance right there, folks. That guy repented of sins like nobody's business. And he still went to hell. You know why? Because you don't get saved. By just feeling bad for what you did and then trying to undo what you did. He gave back the 30 pieces of silver. But you know what? We can't make up for our sins. We can't pay back you know, what we've done. We can't make amends for those things. The only thing that can cleanse sins is the blood of Jesus Christ. And therefore, the only thing we can do to be saved is to trust in him and to trust in his work. That's it.